Today's demo is focused on our approach to chat ops using Microsoft Teams. Over the past year, the COVID pandemic has forced many of us to change the way we work. We no longer have the convenience of being able to walk over to our colleagues in another, in another team to collaborate on service issues. And instead, we find ourselves connecting with each other on video more than ever before. And this isn't going away anytime soon. A survey by US-based enterprise technology research found that per the percentage of workers around the world that will be permanently working from home is expected to double this year to around 34%. So it's not surprising that more companies are leveraging Teams as it's a great tool for collaboration. From chats and screen sharing to video calls and whiteboarding, it has all the tools you need to manage an incident with your team, just as if you were sitting in a meeting room together. But how do incident resolvers and stakeholders know which conversation to join? How do incident commanders invite the right SMEs and on-call resources? And if you're operating in an agile framework and don't have dedicated incident commanders, who takes on this responsibility? XMatters helps you manage that incident collaboration space. With our Teams integration, you could automate channel and creating and posting. You can look up who's on call and invite resources to join. You can associate a conversation or meeting with a specific incident and update incident properties all without leaving the chat. And now I'm sure you'd love to see this in action. Eric, I'll pass it over to you. As Karen was just mentioning in the last 12 months, many of us have started working remotely. And for those of you involved in incidents, I want you to, that could be managing or active resolvers, I want you to think back to that first P1 that you were involved in. You know, did everything go smoothly? Were your on-call schedules up to date? Were you able to get, uh, quickly get everyone on the same page? So this, as these organizations are moving to remote work, Teams has become a tool of choice, but there are other applications that you have to use. And as I was mentioning incidents, um, how do you keep from, having to jump from one, one um, application to another. So that's what I'm gonna go through today. So what if here on the screen is an X Matters incident, and I'm not gonna go into the details. You can check out our uh, demo on adaptive incident management, but today I'm gonna focus on this collaboration section. Here we have um, two MS Teams channels, and we have a Teams uh, meeting associated to this incident. This helps reduce friction. So as people are joining the incident, they can easily find where they can get status or how they can join the channel or the meeting to help in resolution. So for today, we're gonna to start out in the stakeholders channel. So I can just click right in it, it takes me right to Teams. So this channel is mainly for just status updates about incidents, right? It has, um, to a broader audience, it has some uh, summary information here and a link to the incident, links to other collaboration um, channels. And then you'll also see an auto update from X Matters based on user um, responses. Now this information can be updated or customized. So we're not gonna want to actually use this channel for resolution purposes, right? We're not gonna wanna post error messages and logs and you know, our chat back and forth about the incident. So this, we have this, dedicated incident channel that was created automatically for us for this purpose. And again, it has this summary information posted for us. It's again, customizable. So one of the things we have here is the X Matters app that helps you do this. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this is the find command. This, I can just provide some information. So maybe I'm trying to find a group, but I don't know the exact name. So I can actually ask X Matters to search for me. So you'll see here that it actually found three groups based on the either description or the name. And I can, then I want this one, I can actually just select it and it's actually gonna make another query to X Matters. And here it's letting me know who's on call and what the on-call schedule is for, or as policy is for this group. So I could go ahead and invite this um, team to help in resolution, but I wanted to show another command. So we have invite and on-call. So on-call will give you the same thing. It's just if you know the name of the team, so invites the same way. So if I know the name of the team, I can just go ahead and type that in. And it's gonna go and get me the same information about on-call and who's there. So now I can actually go and I'm gonna invite, I need this team to help me. So I'm gonna ask them to, uh, I'm gonna invite them to this channel. So I need help. What X Matters is now doing is going and notifying the on-call person. You'll see here where it 
they let you, it let you know that it's notifying Eric, which is me, and, I, and I'm on call. As it will go through the escalation uh, um, process. If I did not answer, then Marty would get notified 15 minutes later. But it will also follow the device policy for these users. So that would um, so it would allow for sending messages via email, SMS, um, voice if you wanted, and push. So push is actually what we're going to use today. And so I'm going to show you my phone here. So you'll see I have two notifications. This is the X Matters app. The first one is the original, the initial incident message that I kicked off before the demo, and I'll come back to that in a moment. So I want to go into this one here where it's inviting me to the channel. And you'll see here there's the message that I had typed in, the channel I'm um, being asked to join, and the team that that channel is a member of, and of course the person who sent it. So I have a couple of options here. I can join the channel and escalate. So escalate would so say I'm busy on another incident and I can't get to this one right away, I can escalate it and it would immediately, instead of following the 15 minute escalation in this case, it would immediately notify Marty that to join the channel, but I am going to join the channel. I can add a comment if I want. And now it's giving me the option to go ahead and join Teams. So I have Teams uh, app on my phone so I can say, yes, I wanna go ahead and join. So it takes me right into the channel. So I could start um, chatting right now. You know, how can I help? Oops, I'm gonna yell it at them, sorry. <laughs> All right. Now jumping back over to the desktop app, you'll see here that it also, X Matters gave us some updates in the channel, letting us know here that um, Eric replied that he's gonna join and that he left a comment. And then here's where I replied. Now we've brought in another team and we've been working on this incident and we've decided that we think if we jump on a meeting that we might could uh, resolve this much quicker. So we saw earlier in the incident that there is a meeting associated. So we could go back to the X matters and the incident and look at it and get and get into the meeting. But we have that information right here posted directly in the channel, make it easy access so I can join the meeting. We're in this meeting. We maybe have some new people or we need to look back at the incident. So I can pick this X Matters tab and we have access to the summary information for that incident. We can also have a link directly um, back to the incident if we wanted more detail. We've been working on this incident. We think we've deployed or we think we've deployed a fix and we think it looks like it's working. So we're gonna update the incident directly from Teams. Um, and I'm gonna add an update. So there, we just updated the status and added a uh, comment to that incident directly from Teams. I'm gonna leave the meeting. And now we've been monitoring for a while and it looks like our fix has been working and it, it looks like it's resolved. So I'm actually gonna jump back over to my phone to demonstrate some other things from the app. So I'm actually gonna go back to that original message I got when the incident was created. And so you'll see some of the information here. Again, this is, uh, you can customize these messages as well, but this was just letting me know when the incident was originally created. These are the options I had, acknowledge, um, escalate to miss. So acknowledge was you saw the auto, up, uh, auto messages in the Teams channels. That's where I had acknowledged it earlier, but I'm actually going to resolve it. So this is gonna uh, kick off and let X Matters know that we want to that we've resolved this incident, we want it to go close things out for us. The first thing it's going to do is let everyone know that the incident has been resolved. There's a few other things it's going to do some cleanup for us, like uh, archiving the uh, so here we go as a resolution, but here archi archiving that incident channel, right? So that incident channel that we were working on the incident with may have notes and things in it or uh, things that we want in our uh, post incident review. And so on that note, we also have an upcoming webinar on best practices for post-incident reviews, right? So that's been archived. So now it's archived. Um, X Matters went out and also deleted the channel for us. So we can see that here, but we can also see that the channel is now gone. So everything's all nice and clean for us. That was a quick highlight of uh, chat ops with MS Teams and X Matters. I think Karen has a few more items for us and then some Q&A.
Thanks, Eric. You really highlighted the opportunity for technology practitioners to take that giant leap forward and realize an increased level of customer satisfaction and faster service delivery through linking their tools to X Matters. To summarize some key areas, when you take advantage of our capabilities, you're going to see three big improvements. Automated resolution processes, dynamic collaboration across teams, and constant learning in the incident management lifecycle through data-driven process improvements. By applying these three elements to incident management, teams can reduce friction in the continuous software development cycle, enable better customer experiences at a lower cost, and set a solid foundation for digital service resilience. This allows teams to spend more time getting amazing products to market and less time stuck in resolving issues. XMinders has helped thousands of teams gain efficiencies across development and infrastructure departments around the world. We've reduced wasted time from unplanned and annoying disruptions while giving innovators precious time back to create and thrive in today's digital service world. Of course, don't just take our word for it. Our customers love to share their experiences of XMatters, and you can read all about them on G2. I also want to highlight that we have a trial option available or a free forever option at xmatters.com forward slash sign up. Get your instance today and start testing out that Teams integration. If you found this webinar interesting, we have a variety of webinars scheduled every month. You can check them out on our demo days page. And don't forget to track us down online. You can follow us on your channel of choice, Twitter, LinkedIn, or Facebook, where we share even more and would love to connect with you. Thanks, Eric, again, for guiding us through the demonstration of XMatters approach to chat ops with Microsoft Teams. And to our guests, thank you all for joining. This concludes today's Demo Days events. Wishing you all a wonderful day.